What's up guys, it's Mark here. Hope you're doing really well today. Uh, just earlier this morning, I, I just did a live stream with a bunch of you guys uh, for a couple of hours, just doing a lot of lettering and a lot of illustrations and talking you through a lot of techniques and stuff like that. Answered a ton of questions, which was awesome. Uh, during the process, I was drawing a lot of people's names and doing some custom lettering. And there was one point in the live stream where uh, I took a name that I'd been drawing and added a bunch of extra flourishes and some customization and stuff. And I talked a little bit about how I kind of process in my mind where I'm going to add flourishes and stuff like that. And I thought some of you might find it useful. So I've just made a quick video here now of about six or seven minutes of the live stream with me drawing and just explaining that so that you don't have to dig through the whole live stream to find it. So yeah, hopefully you guys find it useful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you haven't heard already, I just did a Skillshare class as well. So I'll put a link to that in the description. It's about creating textures from scratch and stuff like that and applying it to your work. But anyway, don't ramble too long. Please uh, enjoy the video guys and have a great day. How can I draw an end that isn't quite the same as that or what's a style that I can do? And you might be like, well, okay, I don't want to copy this one. So maybe I'll try adding like a swirl to it. Or maybe I could connect this end up here to the K or something, you know, and find your own ways to sort of customize the letter forms and stuff like that, if that makes sense. So CR and is that how, is that how it's pronounced? I hope, I hope it is. I hope I'm not being rude, but I'm going to draw your name. I apologize in advance if my Australian accent is basically just butchering your names. Um, I mean no offense. Yeah, you can copy for practice. Um, just don't really like post it on Instagram as and say that it's yours or you know sell it to someone and stuff like that. It's any time that it starts to become a problem, I think. But yeah, for practice, I would take simple things like this and see what you can do to customize them and stuff like that. So you might be like, okay, well, there's this sort of like visually when you draw on a slant like this, there's this gap that sits kind of here, and there's another gap that kind of sits up here. And so if you wanted to do something with flourishes or whatever, you would want to fill that. Like if it was a name tag or something, you would want to fill those gaps. So uh, you can start thinking about which letters you can use to, to fill this downward space. The N is always the, well, the last letter is always kind of the, the I don't want to say the easy one, but it's kind of the obvious choice. Um, so you could just kind of maybe flick something off there like that and fill some of that gap. So that could be one option. Um, in fact, I might even just hide some of these for a sec and just duplicate this over here. So there's one that you could do like that. Uh, you might decide to just bring it off like that instead and do something there maybe. Um, doesn't quite look as good, I think, but uh, you know, the option is still there. In fact, you could even just go out here like this and then back or, oops, I went the, I went the opposite way then. So it was meant to be like that. Um, you might decide to use a different letter to fill this gap at the bottom here. Um, you could use these A's or this R. Actually, you could use pretty much anything here, which is, which is cool. Um, so yeah, another one you might decide like, okay, I'm going to take the C and bring that underneath, which would be the next option. So you could do something here for sure, which is pretty cool. So if I just duplicate that, I might just move it over here. Oop, I obviously didn't duplicate that. So then if we go back to the C that we had before, you 
you might decide to use the R as well so you could maybe do something here and stuff like that so there really is quite a lot quite a few uh, possibilities when it comes to filling those gaps and you'll just learn that a lot of different letters have different ways that you can use them so if I didn't have this come quite so far out let's just say that it came to here so if we talk a little bit about some of these top gaps and stuff I could grab this end and sort of just bring it around like that could do something there um, So that's another one. Oh man, I'm running out of space again. Um, I actually really like that. I would probably keep it like that. Um, but you could do other things as well. I mean, you could do something off the sea that came up that way. Um, Yeah, so you could maybe do something that came off this C somehow as well. Um, you could even maybe come up off this R and leap that way as well. It's another possible option. So that there's like pretty much infinite yeah, options. So yeah, it's really up to you. Um, do you ever use pencil and paper? Um, yep, hang on a second, let me show you something. So before I came on my live stream, um, literally about five, 10 minutes before, I quickly did some freehand lettering. Um, so this was just with a brush pen. This is what my warm up looks like every morning. So hopefully that comes up on the camera, just a sec. Yeah, so I don't know how easy it is to see that, but um, that's sort of what my normal, just pen straight to paper, no sketching or anything, just using a brush pen kind of looks like. 